Today we are going to talk about extremophiles. Extremophiles are microorganisms that inhabit extreme environments, which are lethal, toxic, or intolerable to other microorganisms. They can develop in extreme temperatures, acidic or alkaline conditions, rich in salt or high pressure levels environments. They don't only tolerate these conditions, but they also need these same conditions to survive and proliferate. Now, we are going to explore some places in the world where we can find extremophiles. Thermophiles are microorganisms that can support extreme temperatures and their designation varies with the temperature conditions where they live. There are moderate thermophiles, which live in environments between 50 and 60 degrees, extreme thermophiles, which live between 60 and 80 degrees, and hyperthermophiles such as the Thermatoga maritima and Aquifex aelicus, which live between 80 and 110 degrees. Cyclotrophiles are the ones who need low temperatures, about 15 degrees or less. Thermophiles' properties are very important because the enzymes that have been isolated from them are very thermostable and resistant, and they are the extremophiles that can live in environments with high salt concentrations are called halophilic. These microorganisms have mechanisms that allow a constant flow of potassium and electrolytes into the cell, contrary to the water output in order to maintain osmotic equilibrium with the extracellular space. The allophilic belong to three fields, but most belong to archaea, as the case of Oloferex mediurane and Salinivirio costicola. Microorganisms that resist to high values of pressure are known as barophiles. They display great growth at values higher than 40 MPa, so they live in very deep lakes or in the subsoil. Water at the deep ocean remains liquid at 400 degrees Celsius. For that reason, barophiles are also thermophiles, just like Thermococcus profundus. Enzymes isolated from barophiles may stay stable at high pressure, what makes them a point of interest for medicine and biotechnology. Some microorganisms have the ability to grow optimally at extreme pH environments. In that way, we can have alcophilic, whose optimal growth is above pH level 9, or acidophilic, which grow optimally at pH environments below 3, such as the Thermoplasma acidophila, whose natural habitats are the sulfate fields and coal remains. One of the most impressive properties of those organisms is the use of their carbon pumps to maintain a neutral pH internally. 